Here's my program that makes an animation of aftershocks from the Tohoku Oki earthquake. So up at the top I declare some global variables. And then the setup block is actually pretty big in this program because I use the setup block for everything that only has to run once so that it's not taking up extra space when I'm trying to run the actual animation. So inside the setup block I load the font, I read in two different files. One of them has the earthquake data and the other one has the coastline data. And then here's a line of text that I'm going to just write once, it never changes. And then I actually plot the coastline inside setup too, because that's never going to change during the animation. Then I just use draw to plot all the events. So this piece splits up all the lines of the input file into latitude, longitude, and magnitude. And then all of these statements decide what color to make each circle, depending on what the magnitude is. And I have a little fallback statement in case I messed up with my equals and greater than signs up here. Then I just draw each data point with this line. And then this block right here makes a little time elapsed clock up in the corner that runs along and sweeps out a circle so that you can kind of tell when the animation's over. And then I increase this index number by one and run through the line again. So this is what it looks like when it is running. Pay really close attention right at the beginning because you're going to see a foreshock with its own aftershocks and then the huge really big event and all of its aftershocks. There's the foreshock. Oh, there's the big event. The size of the circle indicates the magnitude, and the color also indicates the magnitude. Here's this time elapsed clock up in the corner. And when it gets to the end, we'll know the animation's over. It's over now. So that's about a month of data.